So let's have a look at this Halloween deck. The Halloween Oracle by Stacey DiMarco. It's a fantastic deck, a box by Blue Angel. So if we open the box, we have obviously the cards, but also we do have a piece of paper. I always love that. The book is absolutely fantastic. So in the book, obviously, it shows a lot of things about each card. But as always, in the back, you have recommendations of other decks and about the author. So at the front, it will just have the contents and spreads. The usual spreads that you get. Um, but you can use this deck any way you like. So let's do the runway um, rundown of this particular deck. I love the shine on it. It's great. It's lovely, isn't it? Right, so let's have a look at these lovely cards for Halloween. So obviously the strength of the cards are really good. And that's the back of the deck. So it's quite good, isn't it? So let's move this forward so you can have a look. So the first one is Ancestors. Ancestors. So you can see the DNA strand on there. Pretty good, isn't it? Wow. And what do we need in every good Halloween story? An apple. <laughs> wow, look at that. Wow. And next we have the Balm Brack. That piece of bread that um, we don't do in England, I don't think. I've never done it. Sweetness and synergy. Okay. So that's good. Then what would Halloween be without a black cat? The black cat. Don't need any explanation there. And then we have a cauldron. Well, to make our little herbs and spices, little spells. The cauldron, the mixing pot of life. And then we have the owl in the dawn of the day. The light after darkness. Beautiful owl there. All right. Death. Can't have Halloween without death. <laughs> and the moth. Two great images that people can be fearful of. Nothing to fear. And then look at this. Eternal love. The skeletons there. Oh, in the same grave. For Halloween. Then we have forgiveness. It's always good to forgive. Ourselves and others. And then, can't have Halloween without a ghost. Ghost. And then, the graveyard. Amazing graveyards. And then the hearth. The hearth. The heart of the home. Okay. And then we have invisibility. Ooh. And then, of course, Halloween everywhere with the pumpkins, jack-o'-lantern. And then, believe it or not, we have joy. And look at all those lovely autumn leaves. The joy of the autumn. Right, this is Lady de Lemurtos. Day of the Dead. The lamp. Shining the way in the window. Spooky figures in the background. Then we have midnight. The midnight, the witching hour on Halloween. Wow. And the mummy. A very frightening image for a lot of people. <laughs> the mummy. 
the ritual of the dead and the crossing over. And then we have a night song. Hmm. The eerie sounds of the night on Halloween. And then we do have the owl. The owl. Look at those beautiful owl eyes. And then we have the crystal ball and scrying, seeing the futures. What is your future on Halloween? Wow. Then, of course, the skeleton. Not as scary as before, but still, you don't want to see that walking around on Halloween. The skeleton. And then the skull of darkness. School of Darkness. Also, you have the School of Flowers. The School of Light. They need a crystal skull here, don't they? But yeah, School of Light. And then, School of Stars. And then, as we're on the S's, do you know what's next? Spider. <laughs> the spider. Then we have trick or treat. The underworld. The pomegranate bleeding of blood. The underworld. Next we have the vampire. We've all seen series of great vampires, but the real vampire. Ooh, spooky. And then we have the veil. What's unknown? What's unseen? What are your fears? The veil. Then we have the werewolf. The werewolf. And the lightning. Ooh. And of course, winter. Winter. The witch. The witch. And then lastly, Z is zombie. The zombie. Oh, it's very spooky, isn't it? So, so there are your lovely cards for Halloween. So that is the deck, the Halloween Oracle. There you go. So enjoy your Halloween. Have fun. <laughs>